Hi nature friends! For this nature video, I want to share with you some information about red-tailed hawks. Now red-tailed hawks don't really have a red tail. They have uh, brown feathers on their back, white feathers on their chest, and their tail is orange. But the bird people that named a lot of the birds don't have their colors right. Instead of an, being called an orange-tailed hawk, they're called red-tailed hawks. Hawks make an interesting call. It kind of sounds like a shriek. And once in a while, I will actually catch a hawk making its call on a camera. Here, listen. Now, there's a couple things that you can notice about a, a red-tailed hawk uh, and the coloring that God gave it. It has yellow skin on its feet with black talons. Owls have feathery feet, where a hawk has skin on its feet. Hawks also have two colors on their beak, yellow and black, and hawk eyes are dark brown. But when they're young, the eyes of a hawk can be a light yellow or a white color and as they mature, their eyes will change colors. So here are a couple videos of a young hawk and an older hawk on the perch. Now red-tailed hawks live in the same areas as great horned owls. Great horned owls are kind of the night shift and red-tailed hawks are the day shift. And on my camera, sometimes I've captured them about 15 minutes apart on my perch. The hawk left as the sun was going down, and within 15 minutes, an owl showed up. Here's some pictures of that. Red-tailed hawks eat meat, just like an owl does. Now, their favorite food can be chipmunks, squirrels, bunnies, mice, and voles. You've probably seen a red-tailed hawk as you've been driving down the road. They love to sit on power lines or uh, trees, and they hunt on the edge of the road. Now, red-tailed hawks will also eat dead stuff, uh, where a great horned owl usually likes to eat stuff that they capture alive, and then they kill it. But for hawks, they'll be a scavenger just as much as they can be a hunter. Now, one kind of gross thing about red-tailed hawks is when they catch a little vole or a little mouse, the first part that they eat is the head. And I didn't realize heads come off really easily, but in this video, a red-tailed hawk is going to eat a mouse. And the first thing is the head, and then it finish off, finishes off the rest of the, of the uh, little critter. Now you'll notice they eat the fur and the bones at the same time. Hawks make pellets, just like an owl does. But in the case of a great horned owl, they have to regurgitate a pellet before every meal. So one meal in, one pellet out. But a red-tailed hawk can eat a couple different times before it has to regurgitate a pellet. And their pellets can tell you about what they like to eat. Now in this video, last spring in March, 
the red-tailed hawk was cruising over our school and it saw its favorite food laying on the ground. The garter snakes. The bodies of a garter snake are cold-blooded, which means their body is the same temperature as the outside air. In the morning, a garter snake has to lay in the sun to warm up its blood so it can go, and it makes them very easy to be caught. They're put together a little better than a mouse. So, pulling the head off doesn't work. So then how else do you eat a snake? Well, if, you can, if your tummy can handle it, watch what this hawk does to get that snake in his belly. And after you're done watching it, remember that snake was still alive. So that snake is wiggling around inside that hawk's tummy. Thank you for watching this video on hawks. If you have any questions about hawks that I could answer, please type them in the comment section below this video and I will do my best to get back to you and provide you with an answer. Thank you.